Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Holy shit. My lovelies and welcome to another video. Today I'll be talking about The Batman, which had its premiere last night at the IMAX cinema, which is kind of funny because I walked past there last Sunday and I saw this massive poster in the foyer and I thought, oh, that looks nice. I'll take a little picture for my friend. Little knowing that this was going to have a premiere, or he did have his premiere yesterday. So just to let you know, I was up last night until about midnight thinking they would release social media reactions to what they saw. But if you look at this fandom tweet here from the official page, hashtag the Batman review embargo lifts on February the 28th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So I can't find any social media reactions at all. I think WB have kind of put the clamp down on that. But the earlier reactions I've seen, even going back as far as last year, uh, people who have claimed to have seen like an unfinished cut of the movie while citing it as a horror movie that Zoe Kravitz is the best Catwoman ever. Now listen, Michelle Pfeiffer, Selena Kyle, Catwoman, she's my favorite because if you saw the fabulous Baker Boys with the Bridges brothers, Jeff and Bo, you would know how sexy Michelle Pfeiffer can be. I mean, that piano scene, I'm saying no more on that one. A lot of shoes. A lot of rice. So for me, Michelle is still the de facto Catwoman in my opinion. But I'm willing to give Zoe Kravitz a chance, but I don't think I'm going to come away from this film saying, oh my God, she was so amazing. But let's get on to some bat news today. So some further coverage um, from the event. So we, we've got this lineup of the Motley crew here, uh, Andy Serkis, Robert Pattinson, Zoe, Paul Dano, and Jeffrey Wright. And they look good, don't, don't they? I think they're really excellent. I've heard Paul Dano, the Riddler, is pretty amazing. I kind of think they based him on the Zodiac Killer for some reason, considering you never actually know who that killer person was. Although I think they did find out eventually who, that, who they were, but it was kind of too late. So some good advertising here. I like the fact that this is taken at an angle. So that's kind of, instead of face on, which I do appreciate. And if we just go further down, then we've got our Pats and Zoe. I mean, you never know these two slept with each other, would you? Because they're acting like it's all normal. Um, I'm liking the fact he's wearing, yeah, it's kind of, he's, his outfit is a bit drab. And I think his uh, uh, pea coat looks a little too big for his shoulders, but whatever. Who am I? I don't know anything about fashion. There's Matt Reeves um, standing on the red carpet. And I like the logo of the Batman there. It looks pretty cool. And the circus signing for his fans. He's meant to be a very nice guy as well, which I'm not surprised because Andy Serkis is a national treasure. Again, our pack's looking cool. Jeffrey Wright, uh, Paul Dano, who I don't think is used to these kind of uh, red carpet affairs. He's more of an indie actor and he's one of my favorite actors as well. Yeah, somebody sort of our pack's uh, pea coat or his double-breasted jacket. It looks terrible. It really does. And then we go on to another thread here, which is pretty awesome. So more footage. Oh, look at that Selena Kyle. Now that is what I'm talking about. That's that's who I envisioned. You know, I mean, yeah, Zoe Kravitz has got some cleavage, but uh, this version here um, looks like Jim Lee or Mark Silvestri. I'm not sure who the artist is, but that is that is fantastic. I do like that. I'm going to retweet that actually as it goes. Yeah, all done. I like that. Um, that's a new, is that an, an official poster? It looks like it is. Pretty cool. I like that. More, uh, all right, here we go. Nail biting, gritty, and fun Batman coming of age story. What? Uh, oh, hang on. MTV UK seems to have forgotten that the new review embargo for the Batman lives next week. Oh, here we go. I didn't expect to see this, so shot reaction, folks. One hell of a movie. Shortlist, shortlist. They used to be the physical weekly magazine weren't they they used to be so good now they've just been relegated to being online sensational says total film 
<laughs> oh gosh, MTV. They used to be a thing, didn't they? So that's kind of funny that uh, that's been captured already. But look, they're just headline reactions. They're nothing more than that. So it doesn't really matter at that stage. And then we've got uh, Zoe doing her little, oh, Robert, she's so amazing. Uh, but I like Robert Pattinson anyway, he's good. I know he got a lot of flack for, uh, <laughs> oh, look at that. We know he's got a first, he got some flack for the Twilight films. Not his fault, uh, but look at that. First critics of The Batman, hashtag The Batman. And it's just a quote I read out before, but that's good, that's encouraging. Um, I will be going over some initial uh, reactions next week from social media, but I won't go into any spoilers. So that's going to be pretty awesome. But because I love you guys so much, we're going to look at some behind the scenes footage of the Batman in 2K. I'm not going to spend long on this, folks, because um, I don't want to. Uh, I don't. Well, I'm not going to get in trouble for this because this is already up and no one said anything. So. We'll go through this really quickly. Um, I think most of this is indicative or actually it's part of what we've seen in the trailers already. So we'll have a quick look. And is there any sound? It's B-roll footage. I think actually the sound is cut off. Oh, pretty awesome. Wow. I can't tell that might be a stunt man or it could be Robert Pattinson. I mean, that suit looks a little bit heavy. That's pretty cool. I like that. And I think this is Zoe Kravitz kind of sneaking out for the night. Um, I think this is all shot in London as well. So, yep. Not bad. Action! Are we going to get window smashing? What's happening? Oh, no, no, no. He's grappling down. Oh, is it here? Is it? Oh, no. It's Zoe Kravitz again. Cool. Here we go. Holy hell, guys, look at that bat suit. It's pretty good. I mean, for me, the de facto bat suit is still 1989 Michael Keaton, without a shadow of a doubt. Everyone set? Set. Yours, man. I think we saw this in the trailer where they're having that, that training fight session. Here we go. Now, if that's actually Zoe Kravitz doing that, full respect to her. If she's actually doing that uh, back flip somersault type thing. You can already tell from that, I'll tell you from that section here, this part here, you can tell it's well lit. It's a well lit movie. It looks really absolutely freaking gorgeous. And that's the funeral scene. Yeah, we've all seen that. There's our, we, now we saw this before. We saw this like last year. I did an initial reaction to this. So that, so this is year two Batman. So if you're not familiar with year two, it's like when he's kind of like, oh, I don't want to be the Cape Crusader. I just want to do other stuff. I want to be, I want to be a millionaire. Uh, oh, we've got a good glimpse of the Batmobile here, which is basically, oh, look at that. Oh, let's just get that again. Look at that. Wow. Basically, it's a, a 1970s American muscle car that's been remodded for the 21st century, which I kind of like. I dig that. Oh, look at that. Wow, I've never seen this before. Nice daytime shot. Wow, look at that. Whoa. I love the sound of muscle cars in the morning. woo -hoo -hoo. Man. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Holy shit. Wow. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and there's that rave that Selena Kyle's been invited to. Somebody's walking around like the mummy there. That's pretty awesome. And hang on a minute, am I seeing... Hang on, is that one of the uh, Joker's thugs I saw in the background? Is that what I have just saw? Yeah, this guy in the striped outfit. See where my curse is going? Yeah, maybe it's a Joker thug. It looks pretty funny. The next moment coming up looks really great as well. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Now, I'm assuming that's actually a real skyline. It's not, yeah, that is a real skyline. That is not a projection. That is definitely on location. That is, that's, that's good, that's great. Look at that, wow, that looks really fantastic. I've got high hopes for this film, guys. I really do. And there's, uh, yes, Selena Kyle with a little bit of cleavage. She looks a bit like uh, Emma Frost from X-Men First Class. I know that's, you know what? If she had played Emma Frost in First Class, I would not, I think she would have been better suited for that role because her core set there, it kind of reminds me of Emma Frost, but they've got January Jones, quite possibly the worst actress for that role. Yeah, she's a hot actress, but man, 
ask her to play a certain role, she doesn't want to do it. So, yeah, if I had look, Zoe Kravitz has got the blonde wig, so imagine her as Emma Frost. I think everybody would have been fine with that. But I've got one more video to show for you today, folks, which is Robert Pattinson and a behind the scenes of the Batman. So let's go for it, shall we? Hello, Roberto. The first time I put on this bat suit. We've got ripped jeans. So much My kind of guy. You could actually jump around, you could crash into stuff. The suit does not make him invincible. It's just a few panels of bulletproof armor. And the rest is how much Bruce believes in it and how much his adversaries are scared of it. <laughs> I like the handmade nature of everything, but you can see the construction. This environment of wow. how do it yourself, his version of Batman is. His tactical knife is actually stored as with his chest plate and is actually his bat logo. That's very much Batman Begins, that moment. The old taser. It looks like something he's built himself in his basement. Obviously, it looks pretty cool. I got you! I got you! Is that it? Oh, that was it. Okay, fine. Um, I enjoy yeah, that. That was pretty... Yeah, but I liked it. That was just some really quick footage there, folks. It's online. It's legally online, so you can watch it. Uh, they've got a Japanese version, I believe, as well. So that is it, folks. My coverage of the Batman as it currently stands. Review embargo lifts at 9 a.m. Pacific Coast time uh, for on the 28th of February. So I'm looking very forward to that. I'll carefully peruse the uh, reactions, the comments, and uh, hopefully there's no spoilers. There shouldn't be, but it's kind of funny. There are some initial reactions already. Are Warner Brothers going to be pissed about that? Not really, because by God, they do need some some great publicity at the moment and and as it stands we should be able to all go and watch this film next week i've taken the day off for that i cannot wait i'll be watching it on the biggest screen i can on cineworld and then hopefully repeat that experience with my friend who was too dumb to take the day off last for next week and uh, we're going to see it at the imax as long as this film is going to be absolutely what it's meant to deliver and uh, yeah from what people have said already it is actually a three hour Hour long movie it is not two hours and 55 minutes apparently it is three hours dead on so folks if you enjoyed this video today you know what to do already get your batarang out slap that subscribe button hit the like button share wherever you can and if i were you see me on my next video reaction review or rant <laughs> hail to the king baby this is Duke Nukem, and you've been watching Jason King for Kung Fu Hot Dog Reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe, because the king said so. You got that?